Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I have the ultimate summertime dessert recipe for you guys and I'll be making my no-bake strawberry rhubarb cheesecake with maple syrup. This video is sponsored by Maple from Canada and 100% pure maple syrup from Canada's flavor is unmatched and as a natural sweetener it's the perfect alternative to sugar for baking and desserts. You guys are going to love the incredible maple flavor in this strawberry cheesecake. We're going to get things started with a really fruity and delicious rhubarb jam that we're going to fold into our strawberry cheesecake batter. It's going to be dotted with lots of diced strawberries. We're going to finish the cheesecake off with some maple whipped cream and more strawberries on top. I cannot think of a better dessert for summertime. Let's get started. I'm going to show you how to make this incredible cake. And I'm going to get things started with my super simple and easy rhubarb maple jam. It has just two ingredients, rhubarb and pure maple syrup from Canada. Now rhubarb and strawberry are like best friends when it comes to desserts. You have a little bit of tanginess from the rhubarb and then the sweetness and fruitiness from the strawberries and those two flavors combined together are just phenomenal. For this recipe, we're going to need three cups of diced rhubarb. It takes about five of these medium to large size rhubarb stalks. So let's dice these up. Super, super simple. I love how easy this recipe is. And I'm just gonna take my chef's knife here and dice the rhubarb into pea-sized pieces. You don't want the rhubarb to be too big or too small. And I'm going to transfer all my diced rhubarb into a medium-sized sauce pot. Next, I'm going to measure out half a cup of 100% pure maple syrup from Canada, and this natural sweetener is derived directly from maple tree sap. And I'm going to add my pure maple syrup into my diced rhubarb, just pour that right in. And I'm gonna take my spatula and just mix this all together. And if you enjoy making homemade jams during the summer months, I highly recommend that you try replacing your regular sugar with 100% pure maple syrup for jams such as strawberries, peach, apricot, or even cherry. It's going to add so much incredible flavor. You guys are going to love it. And I'm going to bring my rhubarb and maple syrup up to simmer over medium heat. I'm going to let this simmer for about 10 minutes until that rhubarb is fully cooked and the jam is nicely reduced. And this jam is just about done. It's coming along so nicely and it smells really great too. And I'm going to remove my jam from the heat and I like to spread it onto a little tray or a flat platter and then we're going to place this into the refrigerator and this way it's going to cool down really quickly and we can use it in our cheesecake batter. And now let's get started on my graham cracker crust. I am preheating my oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and I know I said this is a no-bake cheesecake, but by baking that graham cracker crust, it's going to set a little bit more firmly and it won't crumble and kind of fall apart once you start slicing the cheesecake. So into my food processor, I'm going to add in 12 graham crackers. Cover my food processor with the lid and I'm going to pulse this for about a minute until fine crumbs form. Next, I'll pour in one third cup of melted butter, and the butter is just going to help bring all those cookie crumbs together. And we'll pulse this for another 30 seconds just to get those crumbs well coated. And I'm going to transfer the crumbs into a nine inch springform pan. And I like to use a potato masher to press the graham cracker crumbs firmly into the bottom of the pan. You wanna create a nice even and level crust. And I'm going to bake the graham cracker crust for just 10 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it's done baking, I'm just gonna take the pan out and onto a wire rack so that it cools faster. Meanwhile, let's get started on that no-bake strawberry cheesecake batter. It's going to be so incredible with the maple syrup. So today I'm going to be using four eight ounce bricks of cream cheese. I've softened this at room temperature for about an hour and a half. And I'm going to grab my spatula and transfer this into my mixing bowl. Today I have my flat beater attached. I'm going to mix the cream cheese for about six to eight minutes on medium speed, scraping down the sides of the mixing bowl a couple times to make sure that cream cheese is extra creamy and well beaten. And the last of my cream cheese going into the mixer. Turn this on and let it mix. And once my cream cheese is nice and creamy, I'm going to add my next ingredients. I have half a cup of sour cream. It's gonna add some nice tangy flavor to the cheesecake. 
two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Next, I'm going to measure out three quarters of a cup of 100% pure maple syrup to sweeten the cheesecake. This is going to add so much incredible flavor and unlike mass produced syrups, which contain a slurry of sugars, artificial flavors, and corn syrups, pure maple syrup has just one ingredient and that's 100% pure maple. Pour that into the cheesecake batter. And to give our cheesecake a nice pink color, I'm going to add in a little bit of red and pink food coloring. These are optional, but I love the color that this adds. It just makes the cheesecake look extra pretty. And I'm going to mix everything together for about two to three minutes on medium to high speed. I'll stop halfway through to scrape down that mixing bowl. And today I'll be setting my cheesecake with unflavored gelatin. I have one and a half tablespoons. It's about two packets of unflavored gelatin. I'm going to add in three tablespoons of water. Mix this all together and then we'll head over to the microwave. Microwave this for about 40 seconds until that gelatin is piping hot and really nicely dissolved. And don't wait for this gelatin to cool. Take it straight out of the microwave. Turn your mixer on to a nice low speed and pour it right in. And I'm going to transfer this cheesecake base into a separate mixing bowl. We just need to free up the mixing bowl to make some whipped cream. And you don't even have to worry about washing out the mixer bowl. Just switch the flat beater to a whisk attachment. And into my mixing bowl, I'm going to add in one cup of chilled heavy cream. I've kept this in the refrigerator. You want it to be nice and cold so that it whisks up nicely. I'm going to turn my mixer and whisk this for about three to four minutes until stiff peaks form. I'm going to transfer my prepared whipped cream into my cheesecake batter. Just drop it in on top and we're going to use a spatula to fold in the whipped cream and it's just going to make this cheesecake batter a little bit lighter, a little bit airier. It's going to be fantastic. And I'm also going to be adding in three cups of diced strawberries. Drop those right on top. And my rhubarb jam has cooled nicely. I'm going to grab that next and add it in as well. You guys are going to love how strawberry and rhubarb combine together. It's like a match made in heaven. So delicious. I'll grab my spatula and fold everything together. You want to make sure that you have uniform bits of strawberries and rhubarb jam throughout the cheesecake batter. Next, I'm going to grab my chilled graham cracker crust and I'm going to be adding a sheet of plastic. This is called an acetate cake collar. Around the edges, this is totally optional, but this just helps the cheesecake from sticking to the sides of the pan and it'll just look really, really pretty. You can also use parchment paper. And I'm going to drop in a couple spoonfuls of my prepared cheesecake batter. Not all of it, just a couple spoonfuls. And to make this cheesecake extra special, I wanted to garnish the sides with some slices of strawberries. And for this, I cut out like the largest middle part of the strawberry, so it's nice and tall. And we're going to place it along the edges of the pan. Just go all the way around and place the prettiest side of the strawberry facing out. And that's why having a little bit of that cheesecake batter in the center is just going to help hold up the strawberry slices while we put them into place. And I'm going to start adding the rest of my cheesecake batter. You want to kind of press it up against the strawberries to make sure that it gets in between all the edges. And I'm going to level off the top of the cheesecake with an offset spatula. I want to make sure that it's nice and level before it goes into the refrigerator. And I happen to have a little bit of cheesecake batter left over. And if this ever happens, don't throw it away. Just place it into a little parfait cup and then you can enjoy it once it sets as like a little mousse cup. It's going to be perfect. And my maple strawberry rhubarb cheesecake is ready for the refrigerator. You want to let it sit in the fridge for at least six to eight hours. Ideally, you can leave it in there overnight so that cheesecake batter can set up really nicely. You'll have that smooth, creamy, cheesecake-like texture. And while my cheesecake is set in the refrigerator, I'm going to make a batch of some simple whipped cream. I'm going to pour in two cups of chilled heavy cream into my mixer bowl. I like to have a lot of whipping cream on top of my cheesecake, but if you want less, you could cut this recipe in half. And we'll pour in half a cup of pure maple syrup from Canada. And add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. 
and I'm going to start my cream at a medium speed and then gradually work my way up to high speed whisking for about three to four minutes until stiff peaks form. And I happen to have a cheesecake that has sat overnight in the refrigerator and it's all ready to be enjoyed. I wanted to show you guys what it looks like once it's all done. You just wanna gently release that spring form and then slide it right up. Now, if you have this acetate cake collar, it just makes things super, super easy. And now let me show you how I transfer it onto a cake stand. So for that, you're gonna need two spatulas. And I start at one end and I wanna slide it underneath the graham cracker crust and kind of work your way around. You wanna make sure that the uh, cake feels very loose and it feels like almost like it's kind of sliding around. Oh, and this one is perfect. Okay, might not even need two spatulas today. So we're gonna slide over our cake stand and you wanna very gently slide the cheesecake right off, just like that. Eh, there it goes, all right, perfect. And keeping that acetate cake collar on is just gonna make the transfer super easy. And then I'm very gently going to go around the cake and remove this plastic. And then I'm gonna use an offset spatula. I'm gonna go around the edges and really perfect the sides of the cheesecake because we want that sliced strawberry to really stand out. And now let's garnish the top. I've transferred my prepared whipped cream into a pastry bag and today I'm using tip number 847. I'm going to pipe a generous dollops right on top. Oh, this looks so, so pretty. And this maple whipped cream is so dreamy. It's really light and fluffy, just like regular whipped cream. It's just sweetened with maple syrup instead of sugar. And now let's cut into this cake so you guys can see what it looks like on the inside. I'm gonna grab a nice sharp knife. And check out this incredible slice of cheesecake. Doesn't that look magical? I love all the little dots of diced strawberries and the rhubarb jam in there. This is going to be phenomenal. And you guys know how much I love my whipped cream. I'm going to add Nice little dollop of some maple whipped cream on the side. And this cheesecake is ready to be enjoyed. And that's it for my no-bake maple strawberry rhubarb cheesecake. And how stunning did this cake turn out? I absolutely love how in the strawberries around the edge, it just makes this cheesecake so festive. A huge thank you to Maple from Canada for sponsoring this delicious summertime recipe. For the full list of ingredients and the instructions, head on down the video description box. I've got all the information down there for you. Meanwhile, let's dig in to enjoy this cake. It looks so incredibly delicious. I just love all the little diced strawberries little bits of the rhubarb in there this is going to be phenomenal and we've got to grab a little bit of whipped cream this looks so so good mm -hmm. just wow this cheesecake is something else it is so incredibly light and delicate and fluffy just kind of melts into your mouth along with that maple whipped cream this is incredible this is so perfect for summertime I love the fact that it's a no-bake cheesecake so so good Mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys are going to love the flavors of this cake. I absolutely love using pure maple syrup for my baking and desserts, and it's the perfect match for this cheesecake. It goes so well with the rhubarb and the strawberries. Get a little bit of that tanginess from the rhubarb, the fruitiness from the strawberries, that pure maple flavor from the maple syrup that we add in, and it's just a heavenly combination. I especially like that maple whipped cream on the side. It's the perfect complement to this light and fluffy cheesecake. If you're looking for the ultimate summertime dessert, this recipe is for you. It's going to be perfect for any summertime occasion. Really, you can enjoy this cake year round. You don't have to wait until summertime. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this incredible recipe at home, and I'll see you next time with a new video.